Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for May 20th through the 26th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we're just going to see what comes up. Now for a lot of you, it's just the start of Gemini season. So the 21st. I happen to be Gemini cusp. I'm born May 20th, 29th degree of Taurus. I'm just like within inches of being a Gemini. And I'm Gemini Venus. So we're just going to see what comes up. I, I resonate with almost every Gemini reading I watch. So let's see what happens. What do we got for Gemini? Of course, you watch your Venus for love anyway. And Gemini is my Venus as well. So what do we got for Gemini? But not every reading even resonates with me, so keep that in mind. Not every reading will resonate with you. Ten of Swords reversed. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Now, something is starting to look up, actually, with the Ten of Swords reversed. I think that you guys have come out of a troublesome situation, or you're about to. It's like you're starting to heal from something. It's like the swords are coming out of your back. The, some sort of pain may be, uh, you may be healing from something. Mm. Ooh. Well, you're not completely healed, huh? What is going on? But we got this love here. You may be dissatisfied with a current circumstance. You may be dissatisfied. Could have to do with being a mother. You know, could have to do with children. You could be dealing with some children that are causing upheaval. You could be dealing with some children that are causing you some sort of angst or whatever. Making you feel pissy. <laughs> Just saying. I mean, I don't know if it's children. It could be a partner. It could be anybody. But you may not, you know, the Empress reversed. She can be pretty, uh, mm, pissy. So that's the word that keeps coming to my mind. So that's the word I'm going to use. Um, you're receiving something. And you know what it is? It's tender loving care. It's love. You are receiving some sort of love, some sort of tender, loving care. There's still some tension, though. This is tension. You could be having somebody, you you know, if you are the male watching this, you could be dealing with a woman who gets pissy when she doesn't get her way. I mean, the empress, when the empress doesn't get her way, she definitely gets pissy. So... Um, she likes to get her way. <laughs> she thinks that she deserves it all. She does deserve it all. You know, and she knows that she deserves it all. And when she doesn't get what she wants, she gets mad. That's what we got going on here. Somebody is like, we have this woman, whether it's, it's woman, the woman in this dynamic. We have this woman who, you know, she, I deserve this, man, man, man. No offense or anything, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? She's just like, whatever. Anyhow, let's change the subject. King of Wands, this is a very passionate individual who takes control, has confidence, um, very dominant, very um, patient individual who may be taking some sort of new approach or helping somebody in some way. This is a leader. He's taking the lead in the situation. Um... Justice, getting what you deserve. Gemini, you're getting something that you deserve. Male or female, you are getting something. And it is going to bring balance to your life. It's going to bring harmony to your life. It's going to make you very, very happy. Extremely happy. Maybe, you know, we have somebody here that has been really thinking about 
the best option. This guy, this person is really contemplating, what should I do? What should I do? What is the best option? So we have somebody here that has been thinking about what is the best option. There's been some tension. There may have been some power struggles between these two people. Definitely. There's been some power struggles. There's been some tension because there's been some indecisiveness. But somebody is making a final decision. And whatever this final decision is, it's going to be, it's going to make you happy. Okay. I think somebody is making a final decision and it involves, definitely involves love. Okay. The, the worst is over. Okay. The worst is over. So I feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision to go after what they are passionate about after perhaps being unrealistic and not going after happiness it's like now they they see you know the happiness and they're giving to the situation but there's been tension and there's been you know she's you know the empress in reverse she you know she can be a little too much when she doesn't get what she wants so she doesn't like indecisiveness at all so yeah a decision is absolutely being made we have, we have a masculine here that is making a decision. And I think that, you know, he's tried to put it off. He has tried to put it off. But I think he's ready for a change. I think now he's seeing a situation clearly. He's been very indecisive. He has. He's been confused. He's been in a state of confusion about the right thing. I think he's been trying. He's, he's a very intelligent individual. He acts with integrity. He's very noble, and he's trying. He's been make, trying to make sure that he's making the right decision. Um, I think that this is a time to celebrate. I think that this is going to make you really, really, really happy. Whatever decision this man is making is going to make this woman very, very happy. Um, if you are single. <laughs> You're probably going to find love. Uh, there's love here. There is absolutely love here. It's destined. It's destined. It's meant to be. This is this is meant to be. It is meant to be. So I feel like we do have lovers coming together brought to you from above, okay? This is a this is a divine connection. Um this is what you have probably been waiting for. This is something to celebrate. If you haven't met this person, you're gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna, you may have met them. You may meet them online. You can meet them out socializing. You, you could meet them at some sort of celebration. Whatever the case is, um, this person is gonna help you to heal from a from something. You may not be healed from some sort of pain. It's like you're starting to heal. And the Empress in reverse, she's she's holding on to some sort of pain. She hasn't delivered it yet. Otherwise, it would be upright. So she's holding. This is love heals all pain. So this is a healing connection between two people. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Libra, another Gemini, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that could be you as well, or uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Libra down here, we have Leo over here, we have anybody, it doesn't really matter, but we have a unexpected uh, connection here, you probably didn't expect this to happen, but here it is, that all of a sudden it's just like, this is my, where did you come from, how did this happen, this is too good to be true, this is, this is unbelievable, um, there's, there's, this is, uh, an opportunity to work with somebody, to work together with somebody who actually wants to work together with you, where there's teamwork, there's partnership, there's real partnership. You guys can learn from each other. You're, it's basically like that yin and yang. I don't even need the yin and yang symbol. I just see, I see a beautiful combination here where you can learn from each other. You both uh, have a very, um, you're very compatible. Um, it's easy. Definitely a soulmate connection here. We absolutely positively have a soulmate connection here between two people. Meant to be. It is. It, there's no doubt about it. I think there's a contract. There's a contract here. There's a, there's a, I mean, this is a contract. This is a contract. It's meant, this is a contract. Okay. It's, it's a, it's a real contract that is meant to be. It's a contract that you can't deny. It's an undeniable 
contract that is meant to be. I think both of you see it clearly. Both of these people see the they see it. They see the connection. They see the they see the divineness of it. This is this is um letting go, letting go of some responsibilities, letting go of a burden. This is Making a conscious change in some way. Ten of Wands reversed. And moving forward. Somebody is breaking free from a painful situation. And they're moving. This is going to help you to heal from a painful situation. And you're moving to a better place. A more peaceful place. This is a time of transition. You're headed towards peace and harmony and extreme happiness. I mean, I'm not even going to keep going because it's pretty clear. This is a divine connection. It's meant to be. It's perfect. It's it's beautiful. It's it's it is. It is. It's it's really something to celebrate. It's like your prayers have been heard. This is this is I can't even get over it. This is a, this is a very very healing connection where both of you can help each other heal. It's 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 love. It's true love. I mean, I can't. There's no need for me to keep going. If somebody has been hiding their true feelings, they're not going to do it. The, the truth feelings are going to come out. The truth is going to be revealed. Okay. I think that somebody has reached the end of. You know, these are ends, completions of a chapter. Somebody is completing a chapter in their life. And they're moving into something much more harmonious and peaceful and beautiful, honestly. So I feel like you guys are transitioning from one phase of despair of some sort of anguish, of not knowing, into a period of receiving, okay? Receiving effort, receiving communication, receiving Whatever it is that you have been waiting for, okay? You're going to be receiving something from somebody who wants to basically work with you. They want to be with you. They, 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 they love you. Or they're going to love you. They do. It's an instant. It's, it's a deep attraction. You can't. It's undeniable. And this is a soulmate contract, okay? We, this is contract. This is contract. This is a soulmate contract. The truth cannot be hidden. This is a soulmate contract. I mean, I don't need to keep going. I really don't. It is what it is. So my answer, my, the, the, what I see is that, that I see love for you this week. Passion. Definitely passion. Passion. I see love, passion, excitement, expression, joy, happiness, coming together. I see communication, getting something that you have been waiting for, love. The worst is over, like I said. Somebody may have just about given up. They may have just about given up and, and now it's here. So yeah, that's what I see. I see love for you, Gemini. I see that, you know, your, your true love, hopefully this reading is for you. Who knows, right? Who knows? Extreme happiness. Seriously. Contentment. Mm. 
This is the answer to your prayers. It really, really, really is. So I hope this reading is for you. Good luck. And happy birthday. That's where I was going at the beginning. When I started this, I was going to say happy birthday. Happy birthday.